Good evening, cult members, and welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And welcome, Whovians, to our weekly Doctor Who review of weekly Doctor Who episode Whovian this. Who review? Who? Who review? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you review? Uh, <laughs> This is the acapella version of the Doctor <laughs> Who review. Uh, this is our latest episode. We are a day behind because we were watching a small awards um, ceremony last night. Right. And, uh, the 15 hour. It's actually pretty short too. Uh, but it this is, uh, we finally got caught up with it and it was called, uh, Can You Hear Me? Um, uh, weird episode. Like I like it. Yeah. But weird episode. Yeah. Well, I think we talked about it last week. I think it was last week that, um, you know, we've got at least two throwaway episodes before right, the right. big two part season finale, which is probably when they will bring back the master and this um, other doctor. And um, yeah. so, and it. Dr. Ruth. Doc, Dr. Ruth. That's what I'm going with. Okay. Um, because she doesn't have a number, so okay. And her character name was Ruth, and she's the doctor. She, she's the doctor, Ruth. Doctor Ruth. All right, not baby Ruth, but doctor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> anyway, so the previews that we saw for next week, um, this week, and then last week, I think are all, you know, um, for the most part, throwaway episodes. Just They're not, just story episodes, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um. I did feel like we kind of got another one of those. Ryan, maybe yeah. leaving. Yeah, Ryan and Yaz both at the end of this episode. Graham did too, but his was different. Uh, this episode deals with um, immortals playing with humans and their fears and feeding off of them. Right. And and, and fingers and fingers and Detachable ears. Fingers. Um, <laughs> If you have a wet willy um, fear, this was not the episode for you. <laughs> That's uh, true. But uh, the but the big thing was the th the the fam themselves all dealt. They they showed what we've been talking about in a visual form instead of just kind of hitting at it and stuff like that. They finally just visually showed, hey. Ryan's afraid of losing his friends and having you know, outgrowing them. And Yaz is afraid of not being, um, not being something and just being. Well, and not being their first sister. Her sister and stuff. And Graham yeah. is afraid of the, of the cancer coming back. I yeah. was going to say Oscar coming back. The <laughs> cancer coming back. Yeah. And, and, and even the doctor, when she was under, she was afraid of this timeless child and yeah. what that means, what they've been kind of hinting at, too. Right. Again, that was a big hint, but I don't think it was really anything. But yeah. But definitely, Ryan Yaz had a definitive moment of how much longer are we going to do this? Yeah, well, but it was Ryan and... Um, and Graham. Graham. <laughs> Uh, we always forget one of the three of them, <laughs> right. at least once an episode. <laughs> um, it was Ryan and Graham the last time. Yeah. And this time it's Ryan and Yaz. So yeah. I'm kind of like feeling, like, and maybe it's all just misdirection, but um, it kind of feels like maybe one of them. Mm. I don't expect it to be Graham. He seems like he's having a good time and there's not really, I mean, he's got, some buddies but yeah yeah um, there's not a whole lot tying him to earth yeah and um other than the cancer coming back which obviously the doctor can't actually doctor him for <laughs> i love i love that scene because 12 would have had something profound to say there yeah and 11 would have like La laughed it off and 10 would have you know okay we're gonna figure this out we're gonna you know but like jody in 13 like she is she even p points out in in that scene i'm socially awkward i don't know what i'm supposed to say here yeah i'm gonna come over here to the board and like 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 pantomimes everything and says out loud what she's gonna do and graham gets that yeah like he understood like he needed to say it out loud i think finally for him to yeah. kind of get past it but yeah. i i just we keep we've been harping on it every week uh 
about we we feel like we're going to lose one, two, or three of the fam. Yeah. And 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 I think really if you're going to continue on with this story of of not re- and not re- resolving the timeless child and things coming after the doctor having a companion leave however that happens is something I think that this particular doctor needs to have happen to kind of I don't I I, I want to say bring her down to earth but like like make her face her herself and what's going on and everything because she's just been kind of like like frantically on the run from everything and just moving on and yeah like that was a lot it. like um you know David Tennant um uh, I guess Matt Smith too like. It hit them both really hard, right? Yeah. To, yeah. to lose um, uh, uh, Rory and Amy, and I don't know, Tenet just kind of lost everybody. I guess um, uh, when Rose left. Yeah, and, I guess Rose and, would probably be the biggest one. Martha him, but... deciding to leave. But that really being gone, she always ended up being in another yeah, episode. Yeah, so that wasn't or, kind of yeah. the same impact. So yeah, Rose and then Amy and Rory were the big ones for the two of them. Um, at nine, left left before anything happened. <laughs> and and Capaldi, own. as much as the Clara stuff goes back and forth, it like Clara, like he he fought his way through. A, a material stronger than diamonds over millions of years to get back to Gallifrey to tell the Time Lords to bring Clara back. Yeah, and Clara, and 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 then her and me take off in a TARDIS, and I still want to see that show. But yeah, but it I don't know. It felt like it didn't hit him quite as much as um, as. Matt Smith and yeah, and yeah, Tenet's yeah. characters did well but, because he forgot. That's true. Yeah, he, that's true. He did he, forget. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he remembers yeah. parts of it. But this particular episode, uh, I really like that they. Uh, we haven't had one of these in a while too. I was kind of thinking about the dream episode kind of thing. Yeah. Um. Uh, they're and kinda... they went back to Earth and their time. Apparently, seventy-seven minutes. After, after when they yeah. were supposed to have gotten there <laughs> yeah. because the doctor can never get there when they need them to like at the time they need them to get there but um but yeah we haven't had a coming back to earth one uh, i think all season I right think this season yeah, yeah where they just uh, uh, came been back and back checked and in on checked their, in on everybody and their lives there's usually yeah. always one of those and and again like the idea of I, I don't particularly like the characters themselves, but I like the general idea of of immortal beings messing with another species just out of boredom. Yeah. But but you have wow. two immortal beings who um who got outsmarted by the goofy and immortal being and so it it it, it, it that particular story part, I wasn't like too keen on, but yeah. I liked the I liked the execution of everything like they did and feeding on fears and then having to come to the realization that they had these fears and what does that mean and yeah. and yeah. like that whole process was really cool too. Yeah, that part was um, it was okay, but the underlying kind of potential story or just story of Ryan dealing with his friend and Graham dealing with you know cancer coming back and or his fear of cancer coming back and then Yaz and her sister and her life or whatever yeah was yeah. kind of the better story I got I got you got some backstory too with um with Ryan and Yaz too mm-hmm. with Ryan and his his mate and and Yaz and her sister and her decision to go be a cop mm-hmm. because this cop comes and saves her yep. essentially from making a bad decision in the moment. Yeah. And, and that's again, more background story building that you're going to do on a character as a misdirect for them leaving. Like, <laughs> like, like right. you're, you're doing all this, this story building for these characters that you're really going to fall for. So then when something actually does happen. Right. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing because like that was probably the thing with like Rose and Amy and Rory leaving was that you became 
very connected with them. You Emotionally, understood yeah, their yeah. whole backstory and, and all that stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the other thing about this episode too, that I was just thinking about was it, they, they kind of did a misdirect a little bit was the idea of, uh, we've gone home. We're checking in on everybody. The doctor's going to go off and do a thing by herself, mm -hmm. which we get one of those every once in a while. We get the doctor off on doing her own th right. thing or the companions are off on their own thing. And they kind of started – they split everybody up like they're going to do that. Yeah. And then things went sideways yeah. and then they all came back together and they all and, – and there was a couple of times – when they were doing that, where the doctor is talking out loud, and she's like, "I'm talking to myself. This is why I have to have people around." Yeah. Like, and and so, again, playing with the idea of yep, she needs somebody. Yep, and yep. And then she had to go get them to kind of talk it through. So, yeah. 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 Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Just like it, now we've had some time. You know, we just got done watching the episode with dinner and and stuff, and so the more we kind of see what's going on, I, it's. I, I don't know how the ratings are overall, but I'm really loving this season. Yeah, I like this season much uh, and, better than last season. And I'm finding, absolutely. too, that um, uh, uh, the IMDb scores are always terrible for TV shows because, yeah. you know, because there's, you know, five amazing ones and everything else is shit. Uh, but what I'm finding is um, there's a lot of chatter online for this season for yeah. it. So I, yeah. I'm really liking that. So yep. we'll see where we go with the next episode. Like we said, it's probably a, some kind of... I, I hate it looked saying, like another throwaway. I hate saying episode. throwaway episodes, but yeah, but, but I mean that's just, what it is. It's not advancing the overall yeah, plot. It's yeah. just a self-contained. It's, it's a self-contained story yeah, that you I mean, can it had it, a little underlying um, stuff. But Victorian not, ghosts. Okay, yeah, we're in. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and then and then the two-part incredible two-part season finale. Yes, they're going to. They're going to kill somebody off, and it's going <laughs> to be awesome. Uh, so that is our thoughts on this week's episode of Doctor Who, A Day Late, and not a dollar <laughs> short, but A Day Late. Uh, the, this one was called Can You Hear Me? And <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Uh, let us know what you thought in the comments. Also, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. If you're on the podcast feed, follow us on the podcast feed. And we're on all the social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, sometimes Twitter. It's all in the descriptions down below. And if we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.